everybody. I have had a few requests to do a cloth diaper update. So I'm sitting here trying to entertain the babies and fold and stuff some diapers. And so I thought this would be a good time to set up the camera and just kind of go through. What's wrong, buddy? What's wrong? With drug. And kind of go through the latest in our cloth diapering journey. Yay, don't fall back. I will just kind of talk you through what our experience has been. You'll have to forgive me. I just got out of the shower a little bit ago and I have a lion's mane going on. <clears throat> so, still cloth diapering, obviously, if you haven't gathered that already, and it's going really well. We do laundry probably once a day, sometimes every other day. It just kind of depends on how much they put <coughs> and how often we feel like we need to change them. It's changed quite a bit since their newborn days, and I'll have a video in the iCards up here about like how our experience was with cloth diapering newborn babies. It's totally different now. We're in a totally different set of diapers, and I have I have a lot of them, but we can easily go through my entire stash in about three days. Come here, bear. Let's sit back up. There we go. Here. Ah, there we go. Don't fall. Our favorites by far, the ones that we have the most of, are hi, hi, the Bum Genius. It's a pocket diaper and it has Velcro tabs rather than buttons or snaps. And we really like it because they're you don't have to worry about getting it right on the exact snap that you need for their size. You just it's basically like a disposable diaper with the sizing with the Velcro. The only thing you have to do is make sure you put these Velcro things on their little tabs in the back when you put it in the wash or else all of your diapers are gonna be stuck together. So if you do go the Velcro route, make sure to use the little docking Velcro ports, whatever that's called, um, to help with that. These are from one of our subscribers. She used them on her baby or babies. I'm actually not sure, sorry. Um, and she, we um, purchased them for a really reasonable cost from her and she shipped them to us in South Carolina and they they're absolutely our favorites in addition to those we really like the I like Alva those are pretty much the only ones that we got new are Alva and they're just on Amazon and they have really fun patterns most of our bum genius are solid colors which is actually nice if you're putting them in a cute outfit and you don't want like this busy diaper with koala bears and foxes and chickens all over it like a lot of times you just want a clean, simple diaper to go with their cute outfit. So that's one reason I do love these, the Bum Genius. Anything I can find links for, like from where we got them or if we purchased them, I can put it in the description box below. How come you keep slipping down? Do you wanna, do you wanna go in your jumper? No, you just wanna sit up like that. Maybe we could put something behind you that would stop you from, you're going again, you're going again. Let's put the soft side of that. Look at that. Oh, and that. This is we just talking. Um, so anything I can find links for, I'll put in the description box below. Uh, the lullaby babies, we use those pretty frequently. Bear is in one right now, and I think Linda is too. They are nice because they have color coordinated snaps. So if someone else is watching the babies or if you just don't have the capacity to think about it, you know what color snap they are based on what size they are. So those are pretty awesome. And all of these diapers that we're using now work from about 10 pounds until they're potty trained. And the way they do that is they have these rise snaps. This, sorry, this video is gonna be like all over the place because I didn't really plan it out, but anyway. Um, so they have these rise snaps so when they're smaller, you set the rises to the smallest setting. And you'll see if I undo them, there are two more settings that you can snap it to. Actually, this one only has two total. But the Alva, or um, the Lullaby diapers have three snaps for the rise settings. So 
so as they grow you just move up to the next setting and then when they're full grown but still in diapers then you just have it all the way out and it makes a larger diaper so it changes the size of it pretty substantially in terms of in terms of poop when they are exclusively breastfed and they don't get any formula and they don't get any solids then the poop that they have is water soluble meaning it's not going to clog up your your washing machine so you can throw all of the diapers straight into the washer wash them don't worry about it and um, so that's really convenient when they started on solid food then their poop definitely was less runny we talk about poop a lot around here a lot less runny and it was more solid and it was actually a really easy transition because it became ploppable, meaning you can just dump it straight into the toilet. They will occasionally have a poop that is like the peanut butter texture, in which case we have a little sprayer that we hooked up to the water source of our toilet, so we can just spray it right into the toilet. It's super easy. They have a little shield that you can set in there so you don't have like overspray everywhere. It's, it's actually not bad at all. The only time we did have trouble with it is when we were on our road trip and we actually left the diaper for like 24 hours before we sprayed it off and I think it was a little bit difficult then. So not ideal if you're going to be just leaving it for a day or two before you spray it off. It's probably best to spray it right away. <clears throat> but most of them are ploppable and it's just really easy. Hi. If you're formula feeding then I think you need to rinse off or dump the poop because I think then it becomes not water soluble there's a little bit of a debate on that so um, just do what you feel is best and research it and go with that as far as the inserts go most diapers will come with inserts and there's different materials of inserts there's microfiber which is this one and um, yeah this is microfiber and then there's like bamboo there's a bunch of different materials that all have different absorbencies and they vary on whether or not they can go directly against your baby's skin. If it's microfiber, they cannot go against your baby's skin because they'll dry their skin out like no other. So don't do that. With the pocket diapers, it's easy because, I mean, none of it is against their skin so you don't have to worry about what's on top or what's in the back or what's stuffed or, or anything like that. So. We have had to graduate to two inserts as of like, I don't know, maybe a month ago. We used to just put one insert in and now we're up to two inserts and at nighttime sometimes three inserts because they're, they were out wetting just the one insert. But it's really no big deal. We have, we have tons of extra inserts. Inserts are really cheap. If you buy used cloth diapers, chances are they'll be like, I'll throw in all of these inserts for free. And so you'll have just like this huge stash of inserts, which eventually we'll probably be using all of them because we'll be double stuffing these guys. So I'm glad to have them, but we're just not quite using all of the ones that we have yet. The idea behind these materials of the inserts is that from what I understand, the microfiber absorbs a lot really quickly. And then like, fleece or bamboo, not fleece, bamboo, hemp, charcoal, a couple other um, materials, they absorb a large amount of liquids slowly. So when you put your stuffing in your diaper, I am just a little bit particular. And so I put the microfiber towards the surface, but in like when I stuff it, I have the microfiber layer on top closest to the baby and then whatever the more absorbent layer is behind that. And when I say that, I'm talking about like a pocket diaper, so that doesn't mean that the microfiber is gonna be against the baby's skin. <clears throat> While I'm on the topic of pocket diapers, there are a lot of different types of diapers. We use mainly pockets. They also have all-in-one diapers, which are essentially just like a disposable diaper. You don't have to stuff it, you don't have inserts, you don't, you don't mess with anything, you just wash them, and then you take them out, and after, you, after they're dry, you just put them on the baby. So those are a lot easier. I hear they take a lot longer to dry, and it's really no big deal. I don't find that it's any trouble at all to stuff them. I actually find it kind of therapeutic. Like I like these mundane tasks, so 
especially like during their first nap, I'll put on a show that I really like and just stuff all of their diapers and get them all organized and put away. So I really like it. I think cloth diapering is super easy. I'll ask Brad's opinion and see if he still thinks so, but as far as I know, he still thinks that there's, it's super easy. I think he occasionally gets a little annoyed with having like the extra laundry, but if it, if it weren't for that, it's really no different. I'm still really happy with the decision to cloth diaper. Yeah, it's a little bit more laundry and it's a little bit time consuming, but Rachel actually really enjoys stuffing the diapers, so I don't even have to do that. But I'm usually the one that puts it in the washer and then transfer it over to the dryer. The washer? The washer, the washing machine. So yeah, I'm still really happy and it's definitely saved us a lot of money, oh. which I really like. It's so much better for the environment. It's better for the babies. I honestly think that they would have really bad rashes if they were in disposable diapers. We used disposable diapers a little bit in the beginning because they were too small for the cloth diapers that we had. And they got a rash within a day of being in the disposables. So I don't know if that was just their brand new baby skin or if they really are that sensitive, but I don't plan on finding out because I plan on continuing the cloth diaper. Um, but yeah, I think I touched on, this one's one of my favorites. This is a Harry Potter pattern diaper. So that one's really cute. It's just really fun. Um, I did, I was pretty frugal when I got my stash of cloth diapers in the sense that most of mine are used and I did get a few new ones. If I, if I go on like a website and look at cloth diapers, I'll end up spending hundreds of dollars on brand new prints because they're all so stinking cute. So if you're that type of personality and you're looking to cloth diaper to save money, you might end up doing the opposite because they're, it's really addicting and they're really cute and it's really, really fun to shop for them. Especially when, oh, they're looking at each other. Oh, she's grabbing his face. That was cute, you guys. They, cloth diapers make great toys. They've both been playing with the diaper pretty much this whole thing, how appropriate. Yeah, this thing is all over the place. So many benefits to cloth diapering. Not only does it save you money, it's really great for the environment. It's good for the baby's skin. It introduces them to less toxins. These double S swim diapers, you just take out the inserts and it's essentially what a swim diaper is. It just catches poop, in case you didn't know that. I'm sure you figured out if you put like a disposable swim diaper on a baby, the pee doesn't stay in it. So for what it's worth, um, these double as swim diapers. So um, if you have any specific questions about cloth diapering or if you wanna know more about our experience, I think I hit on pretty much everything, then just leave a comment below and I'll try to get to all those questions or maybe do a follow-up video if there's enough of them. And I think that's about it. I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Say we love cloth diapers. Yay.